Hello guys, welcome to K Arena Channel. As we all know, Rose just released her W song, which was amazing, of course, along with the MV for Gone, which I have watched countless amount of times. So I decided to watch it at 0.25 times the speed to see if there are any details that I missed. I wanted to share them with you through this video. Please comment down below if you also noticed these details and share if there's any other ones that I didn't include. Anyways, so let's get started. Number 1. The Flowers Surrounding Rosé In this scene, there are many roses surrounding rosé. Some of them are blue and some of them are white, starting to turn blue. The white flowers represent rosé's purity and innocence. They can symbolize a time where she was blissfully happy in her relationship without a worry in the world, while the blue flowers represent unattainable love which means that Rosé couldn't reach happiness and love in her relationship. That's why all the white flowers that are in the process of turning blue can represent her desire to reach an unachieved love. I noticed that all the white flowers are in the process of fading into blue, which means that Rosé's happiness in her relationship is almost gone. Number 2. Rosé and Rose as the MV is filled with roses, flower wallpaper and roses, it can be seen as a play of words on Rosé's name. Um, yes, it is obvious. But yeah, just wanted to show you whether you realize it or not. This can also symbolize her identity and state of mind as the existence of roses can be noticed all throughout the house. Number 3. Rosé's name written on the wall. In this scene, we can see that Rosé's name is written colorfully on the wall. In the middle of all the messy graffiti that can be seen all around the station, her name is written in big and colorful letters. Number 4. There were a lot of symbols of love throughout the music video. Rosé uses a lot of props that could be interpreted as a symbol for love, like the red rose, the red candles, and the red wine. Most of these props, however, are in the process of disintegration. We see the example that the candles are melting and that wine is spilt. This is an early sign that her love will not last and that it would fade away with time. Number 5. Rosé waiting for a call from another phone Rosé uses two different phones in the MV. In both scenes, she seems like she's waiting for a response from someone. In both cases, we can see that she doesn't get anything back and that she's forced to wait even more. In all the past scenes, we can see that Rosé talks with her boyfriend in a yellow phone, but in the present, there are some scenes where she keeps checking her phone, probably waiting for him to contact her. Number 6. The Tiny Scratches on the Screen We can notice throughout the whole video that there are tiny black dots and some scratches on the screen which of course made the music video even more artistic. But maybe there's more meaning to that, and that it could have been used to reflect Rosé's emotional state while going through the breakup. Number 7. The scene where Rosé is waiting at the bus station In this scene of the MV, Rosé waits in a rundown bus stop station. I noticed that she's wearing pearls in the scene, which can represent honesty and integrity. Rosé waits patiently in this abandoned station, although there is no sign that anyone will actually come. The sign behind her that says open 24 hours reveals that she was always waiting and pouring all her time and energy into the relationship. This sign is the only source of light in this dark scene. Number 8. Rosé packs only paintings and plants. In this scene, I noticed that Rosé is packing her stuff and ready to move on. But if you take a look at her luggage, you can notice that she didn't pack any clothes, but only some paintings and flowers. This means that there weren't any meaningful memories that she was able to take away from her relationship and that it only left her with pointless souvenirs. Number 9. The difference in the lighting and the filter. I noticed that all the scenes wherein they were dating were colorful, while the scenes after the breakup were gloomy and dark. 
This reflects Rosé's own mental state before and after her breakup. Number 10. The Bathtub from Lovesick Girls Made a Comeback We can see that the bathtub from Lovesick Girls appeared again on Gone MV. This can be seen as continuation to the prior song, which was about chasing love continuously even if it ends in pain. Rosé finds herself again near the same broken-down bathtub in a similar state of sadness. Number 11. The Three Glasses Behind Rosé A glass filled with wine that was on the table was believed to belong to Rosé. But I noticed that there were exactly another three glasses behind Rosé. I couldn't help but think that these glasses might be a reminder of the remaining three members of Blackpink. Number 12. The 1025 Clock Throughout the MV, the clock behind Rosé stayed still on 1025 o'clock. And then you can notice that it disappeared while she was packing her stuff. This can show that she might have felt trapped in her relationship or in the aftermath of the breakup. So much that time stayed still for her and she fell into a meaningless routine. We don't see the clock when Rosé packs her suitcase, which can suggest that she was finally ready to move on. This will be the last detail for this video. I hope I helped showcase some of the hidden details that made the MV even more meaningful and artistic. Please comment below about your favorite detail and about any that I might have missed. Or maybe you can suggest any music video to be featured next. I would appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And thank you for watching.